I'm Jesse and behind the camera is James and we are roaming in Riverside and today we are roaming out in Lake Arrowhead. It is kind of cold and, and a little bit uh, nippy out here this morning. But we're out here with uh, Gary. Gary, tell us a little bit about yourself, like where you're from and how old you are. Um, I'm 44. I uh, grew up in Venice Beach and um, right on. and I traveled, you know, uh, hopping freight trains for like 10, 10 years and and um, I wound up up here in Lake Arrowhead, you know. Yeah, tell before. us about the hopping freight trains. How was that like? It's, it's, it was, when I was younger, it was the thing to do. I, you know, I, um, I wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't beaten up quite yet. And, okay. You know, okay. I got some crazy stories, you know. And I bet. But, What's uh, one of the craziest ones? The craziest one, I was... Um, um, I've almost gotten beat up for this story because other train hoppers, they were like, there's no way in hell that you actually did this. But okay. I was I was on this, uh, through the Cascades, it was probably like a 200 car train. Okay. And I was um, 40 cars back from the unit. And I got bored, yeah, I was on there for two days. And so I start walking along the sides of the, the cars, you know, going on inside turns, kind of stuck to the side. And, yeah. and um, Anyway, I got to the last one in, you know, with the units, and there was four units. The, the first one's facing forward, and the, the one that's connected to the cars is, is facing reverse. Okay. And um, I, I just love to see that, you know, like breaking into new land and stuff. It's just like nobody gets to see that stuff, you know, yeah, from, yeah, especially yeah. from the top of it. Yeah, that's and um, so I was like, well, I, can't, I couldn't climb down at all, so I had to go back to my shit. And I took one last look at the front, and here comes a tunnel. And there's like you know like four 12 foot exhaust fans on each uh, on each locomotive and yeah. and they're pumping out like who knows how many pounds of 150 degree like carbon monoxide you know yeah and so i was like shit and i didn't have a wet rag because you usually you're supposed to carry a wet rag so you can i didn't know though it was like my the biggest tunnel in the country and uh and um i had no idea really what was going on so wow. Anyway, I get halfway back across this um, this car, and and I think to myself, what should I do? You know, if I go to cross the buckle and it gets black and I miss the thing, and then I'm I'm falling. The last people, or the last shit that's gonna see me is coyotes. You know, like yeah. nobody's ever gonna know what happened to me. Right. So, like, I got a wild hair. My eyebrow raised up, and and I turned around and I ran all the way against the wind across the the, the it was a ladder going all the way across the the center of the top of this okay. car, and. Um, Right when the tunnel passed over my head, I leapt off, diving for the locomotive in front of me, yeah. and um, and I caught the, the chain with my forearm and barely pulled myself up. In like 30 seconds, I was in a pool of sweat. It was like, I mean, because it was 150 degrees in yes, there, and yes. I was like starting to cook, you know, like, yeah. and um, and so I, like a little gleam of light came, and I saw the chrome handle for the little door in the front, oh. and. Um, and I, so I crawled in there, and it was only like 90 degrees in there, but it yeah, was yeah. it was fresh air though, like you know. Yeah. And um, so <laughs> a, after a while, I got I got um, I got ballsy and went into the other one, yeah. in, into the other room where the engineer and the conductor are. Okay. Nobody was in there, and okay. there was a ice ice cooler with a you know a six pack of cold water. And <laughs> so you're sick. I was stoked, yeah. you know. So no more dangerous stuff like that for you anymore, huh? Well, you know. It, so it, now, what, what's a day like, an average day like for you out here in uh, in uh, Lake Arrowhead? An average day for me? Um, yeah. I don't know. Just take you're a friendly me. guy. You got friends. I saw. What was your buddy's name? Yeah. Shay. Shay. Okay. Yeah. And then what's your dog's name? My dog's name is Morgan. Okay. Yeah. She's okay. pretty much my only real friend. You know, okay. like I mean. So you're still traveling. Um not traveling i've been kind of like um stuck in limbo for a while but okay. i'm i'm about to be traveling you are know? you homeless yeah. right now yeah i'm homeless okay. I, I i bought in four cars in the last two months yeah. and they have all gotten towed away like oh, uh, three of them within like hours of me getting it Jeez. and you know i i leave it parked somewhere and and mm -hmm. go inside and then it's getting towed you know yeah. like and gary but, tell me how are the uh, tourists out here are they cool Cause um, we're tourists, you know, because we came out here. How were yeah. we, man? How do we treat you? Uh, pretty awesome, you know. Yeah, 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 you guys man. are cool. Um, most tourists are, are pretty cool if, yeah. if I get to interact with them, you know, okay. really. But um, you know, this I don't really interact with too many people. Yeah, it was freezing last night, so uh, uh, how do you keep warm? You just my dog. Your dog. She's a little okay. heater, you know. Okay, right on. 
Right on. Yep. So you do, do you head down to the lake anytime or? Um, I mean, the summer I do, you know, okay. but it's been really, really low for like two years now. So right. it's like kind of, yeah. you don't want to walk out in the mud to the lake, right. you know. Well, let me ask you this question. We always ask our viewers, are you mm -hmm. spiritual? Do you believe in God? Um, I am very spiritual. Right uh, on. You know, I, I, I can't put a name on it what I believe really because yes. it's um it's a it's a trip you know what, yeah. I, what I believe uh but man you made it this far man and uh and you're right. a pleasant guy to talk to man and, right on uh, yeah man and I wish you the best man and uh and uh is there anything else uh strange that goes on here any critters crawl around that night man because uh, uh, our trash got attacked last you night you really want to know yeah okay I'm in my friend's yard okay and it's you know about two in the morning or whatever okay. and um I brought my dog outside to go to the bathroom and she's, you know, about 20 feet away from me. Yeah. I hear a branch break up in between the houses above the car, above, the, you know, the, the house I was at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I was like, I was like, I wonder what that is. I mean, bears don't really come down that way. Yeah. They're on a trail usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, um, they don't, uh, sorry about that. You're good. They, they don't, they stay on the trail, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. And uh, mountain lions, they might be creeping you know over stuff and yeah. so I'm like Morgan I didn't want to make any noise because it was a mountain lion and yeah. um, a bear shoots she'll scare a bear away and I can scare a bear but a mountain lion if he's real hungry yeah you it's never know really yeah. you know and I don't like running into them because they freak me right out you know yeah, but um yeah. anyway so she, I heard a stick break and then I'm looking and how fast it came down I'm thinking it might be a deer okay and when I saw it I was like what the fuck yeah. is that it was, it was like, I swear to God, on, on life itself, it, with, with no joke at all, it was about, it reminded me of a camel mixed with a Brahma bull. Really? And it was, and it walked like this, like that, right? And it was really low to the ground, and it's, it's like... Chupacabra. Hit. It was a skinwalker, <laughs> I believe. Skinwalker. Because, because when I thought wow. of what it was... Like I was, I was up in air about what it was. Yeah. So it was like literally looked like it was changing in front of my face, wow. and um, and it had like a weird tigger shaped head. I swear to God on life, really? you know. Like I might have been high, but yeah. I mean, come on, you know. Like, yeah. and the dog did not even fucking see it. She didn't. She didn't react to it or anything. Right. She was just like da da da, you and know. Morgan would have picked that. Up. I was like, what is that, Mo? And she looked the other way. And I'm like, and it walked like eight feet away from her. It didn't look at us though, and, just and, and as soon as, as soon as it went past the into, out of the light, mm -hmm. all you hear is chain link fences going ching 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 ching, like you know, getting further 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 away so fast. Wow. I mean, the thing just like must have stood up and walked right over all the fences, you know, like. Wow. But it was like walking like this. I was like, "Holy shit!" And then the next person I t <laughs> the next wow. person I told about it, yeah. they were like, "Dude, that was a skinwalker." Wow. I'm like a skinwalker, really? He okay. goes, did it have a tigger-shaped head that looked like a human? I didn't see the face, but yeah, um, yeah. I saw the shape of the head, and it looked like a damn tigger, man. <laughs> you wow, know? that is crazy. Like, but I haven't seen him again, but you know, wow. I, I think about it every time I go out in the dark now. You know, like, wow. So what are you and Morgan going to do today? Just hang out? We are going to, um, I don't know, we're trying to raise some funds to uh, okay. to get a vehicle, you know, and... Um, well, that's what we're here for. Got to do what you, you got to do. We're here to help, you know? not hurt. And uh, before we wrap up our interviews, you know, I always ask, can I, can I pray for you and your dog? Right on. I, yeah. You know. Dear Father in heaven, I lift up my friend Gary here, Father, and his dog Morgan, Father. I pray you protect him from the skinwalker and any, <laughs> other, any other animals or people up here that might bother him, Father. He's a good man, Father. He has a good heart, Father. And you say, you say what is good and what is bad, Father. So let this man walk around, and hopefully he walks that around with the anointing of a good man, Father. And I, I pray mercy on him, Father. I pray um, grace on him, Father. And I pray that you lead him into a life of abundant, abundance, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, Gary, it's right been on. a pleasure, brother. Cool, man. Well, I'm going to hook you up some money, and uh, we'll get oh. you something to eat. And then, uh, man, I wish you the I got, best. I got, Here, give me a like, hug, brother, because I need a hug, too. Right on, man. Right, man. Well, I wish you the Rock best, man. Hey, that was a great story, man. I like that. I got, I got you know, I got lots of stories. I, I just, <laughs> well, you, you know, know what? Maybe we'll catch up another time. Bro. Right on. Very cool. nice meeting you, brother. Okay. Right on. This is uh, Jesse. Behind the camera is James. We're with Gary. We're up here in Lake Arrowhead. We're roaming in Riverside, and we are out.